Here at WUSA 9, we believe that the environment matters, and that's why we created our Eco Challenge to support local teachers and students in their efforts to improve our surroundings. Schools from around our area submitted their environmental project ideas for the opportunity to win $5,000 from Washington Gas to support their projects. And today we wanted to celebrate another one of this year's winners, Ms. Monique Henderson and the students of DC's International School in Northwest DC. Here's Lorenzo Hall. All right, y'all, so we are at the DC International School here in Northwest DC, and today we're gonna surprise Ms. Henderson and her class. This is one of our Eco Challenge winners. She has no idea, so let's go. Okay, you good, you good? Yeah. Okay. First, we had to plot. We found a way to get Ms. Henderson out of the classroom so we could let her students in on the big surprise. Thank you. Hello. Apparently, Ms. Henderson's been checking WUSA9.com every day to find out if they won. She still has no idea what's happening until this. Oh my God! Oh my God! Hi, Ms. Henderson. So, do you remember applying for our Eco Challenge? I thought we didn't get it because I was looking and waiting and we didn't hear it. Oh. And, and here we are. It's good. Oh my God! So, why was the DC International School selected? Well, Ms. Henderson's class wants to make lunchtime eco friendly. These are the lunch trays that we will upcycle. So the idea is that the students will put soil in here and then seedlings um, for different fruits and vegetables. Once they start to sprout, then we will replant them and then we will donate these to the food bank that we have here on campus. It really helps out the community. We're reusing all the stuff that normally kids would throw just in the trash can. So you're tossing out these trays and they, they, they still have life. They still have a purpose. They still have a purpose and we can't be taught lessons on how to upcycle and like recycle when we're not doing that because it's kind of hypocrisy. With 1,700 students, they're hoping to reuse thousands of these trays before the end of the school year. The Smithsonian Science Education Center will also be working with these students to help this project sprout. Something like this helps students see not just what they're doing locally, but also globally. But wait, it gets better. Partners at Washington Gas, we're going to sweeten the pot just a little bit more. <laughs> of Washington Gas, we want to congratulate you for your Eco Challenge Award in the amount of $5,000. This is the best news that I've had in a long time. I mean, I love you guys too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this has really made my day and I'm more excited for my kids to be able to do this. <laughs> I love it. 